Today I'm going to introduce you to a brand new style line called Kim Kimball. This is one of their latest designs called Jayla in the color Sweet Cream. We're going to check it out. This is the first experience I've had with this line. I purchased this style at Wig Studio One. You can find it there too, as well as the rest of the Kim Kimball line. If you drop below the video and expand the description box, I'll attach a direct product link. If you click on the link, you, it'll take you out to the site where you can see all the styles and the color options. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. And don't forget to visit the private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. So let's start out by talking about this brand new brand, this brand new line of wigs. This wig style line is being offered by Hair You Wear. That may sound familiar because it is the same supplier manufacturer as Raquel Welch, as Gabor, as Tony Bratton, and as Hairdo. So they're expanding that Hair You Wear family to include the new Kim Kimball line. This is an example of what the packaging looks like. I love that mob. I think it's really beautiful. So the Kim Kimball line is brand new to Raquel Welch for this year. Um, now, I don't know much about uh, this, this brand. I don't know much about the celebrity behind the brand. I did some preliminary research and Kim Kimball is a celebrity stylist. And so she is well positioned to create her own brand, her own line. But that's as much as I really know about Kim Kimball, the woman and the uh, celebrity stylist. I looked online, there is a huge variety of styles. Some really tight curly styles, some looser, even straight, smooth and polished like Jayla here, a variety of lengths. It's sure to appeal to a diverse group of ladies. What I've noticed is that the rooting on their colors is really, really dark and long. So you have to like that. I'm gonna take you through my impressions of this Kim Kimball style. Not every style is going to look good on me. Not every style is going to suit me personally, but I do want to get the information out there. So Jayla, I selected Jayla because it's just the perfect length for me. I love this smooth, polished, asymmetrical A-line bob. This wig style is made from the true to life fiber, the same true to life fiber that you'll find on Raquel Welch and Gvor and even hairdo brand. So you're used to what it feels like, you're used to how it reacts to heat. You can always take your heat tools to this and make it your own. So let's run through these measurements. So they say a four and a half inch fringe in the description. And I think that's an undercut fringe it must be because this piece actually stretches down to about six and a half inches because I'm hairline to chin about six and a half inches. In the back about a six inch crown, and I think that's pretty true to the description. And then that boils down into a one and a half inch nape. And I think that nape is ample. It's ample to cover up my hairline all the way around. It feels kind of like a Raquel Welch style in terms of its sizing. This is very large on me. Now I do have a petite average circumference and I had to cinch this in as far as it could go. And I've got a tremendous amount of baggy cap at the top. I have petite measurements all the way around. So not only my circumference, but my ear to ear and the front to back measurement, they're all petite. So it is not a surprise that I'm getting so much baggy cap. I could actually fit uh, a tennis ball up in the gap that's up there above the crown. Now I'm not bothered by that too much. In fact, on me, it just sort of enhances that poof that I'm gonna get back there at the profile, which I think really accents a style like this. We've got about a two to three inch layer here on the left hand side. And this style features a temple to temple lace front and left monofilament lace part. And it's a single unit. I'm gonna show you an inside look at the cap here shortly. So let's get up close and I'll describe these monofilament features to you. So there's your temple to temple lace. That's my own widow's peak jumping out there. Um, I find that the lace is stiff and scratchy against my skin. It also doesn't blend in well with my particular skin tone, so I may have to tweak that a little bit with some foundation powder or something. It's shiny and you can definitely see the line of demarcation. And then you've got this monofilament part. So let me go into this just a moment. You see how pristine that part is, okay? It's clean and pristine all the way back to the crown. It has a slight curvature to it. This is intentional and it is permanent. So that part looks like it has been steam set or pressed tight. It's gonna be very difficult for you to do any other parting option than this one. And that may be great for you, um, but if you purchase this and decide you want to change the part, I think it's gonna be a little more difficult to do. 
I do like the illusion of scalp all the way back through that monofilament, and it's also pencil thin. This is just a line of monofilament lace all the way back to the crown. It does not have any parting space at all to move it. It is where it is. And we're gonna take, a, again, we're gonna take a look at the inside of the cap here in just a moment. In terms of density, it's just a nice average density. I would put up this density against any Raquel Welch style of a similar length and style. So let's chat about this color. Again, I've noticed that the color options in this line are going to feature a very dark, dark brown root. Um, and the root seems to be a longer root. In fact, this one, this color really reminds me of a balayage. So you're going to see a dark brown base color, including the root. And then you're going to see the highlights here are a platinum, almost a toned white or platinum. They call it sweet cream. And it's MC11923S. So it's a very long rooted effect here. Let's examine this cap then for the Kim Kimball Jayla style. There's an extended lace front that extends all the way back through the ear tab. Gotta love that. Nicely contoured. And then again, it goes seamlessly back into a left monofilament lace side part. And that is about a quarter to three. It's of an inch, I would say, all the way back through the crown. You've got a rose net uh, covering up wefts on the top, open wefts on the sides and back. A nice ear tab that has been velvet lined and then you have some stays in there they're not too sturdy but what you do see are some security combs the security combs have been sewn in this is what it looks like right out of the box you can use these to help secure the wig into your own natural hair in the back an extended felted nape with velcro style adjusters again another security comb in the back on both sides and the back this one fits me very large. I'll have to cinch it in as far as it can go to accommodate a petite average circumference. So it occurred to me, I forgot to talk about permatees. You're gonna to wanna to know about permatees. There is permatees on this style in a very nice, moderate amount. Not too much, not too little. You'll find it all the way around that mono part um, on the sides, in the back. None at the nape or none at the ear tab here. So it's just all the right amounts and all the right places to help sustain this kind of a style. Let's try with glasses. And they, it works beautifully with your glasses. It fits neatly and nicely between the ear and the ear tab. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon right here on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.